This is Jefferson Close-Up, and I'm Carol Celine. My guest today is Dr. Cataldo Doria. So tell me, where were you born, which I'm suggesting is not America, and what is one of your favorite childhood memories? I was born in Italy. I was born in the southern part of the mainland, um, on the Hill of the Boot. The name of uh, the city is uh, Taranto, and there was uh, part of uh, the great Greek empire. Now, you told me that you already knew you wanted to be a transplant surgeon when you were something like six years old. How could you make such a momentous decision so young? Yes. At the time in Italy, the um, uh, media network was not very well developed, as well as uh, journalism was not very well developed. And uh, I remember this story of uh, um, a surgeon in uh, South Africa whose name uh, was uh, Christian Bernard, uh, who did the first heart transplant in a small baby. And the news went on and on for months, probably years, <laughs> and uh, that really brainwashed me as a, a small kid <laughs> growing up. And uh, the only thing I wanted to do was to become a transplant surgeon, and that's what I did. Oh, that's pretty important, that's pretty important. Now, you not only do uh, uh, liver transplants, you do kidneys, you do pancreas, but I know that liver is your primary focus. How many liver transplants have you done? I have stopped counting them when I got around the 500, so <laughs> and that was a couple of years ago. <laughs> is, is it hard to find donors for liver transplants? Yes, it's uh, the major problem that we have in transplantation, not just livers, but mm. any organ. In fact, there is a big gap between uh, patients uh, uh, waiting for an organ and uh, uh, available organ. Well, that, that's really very sad. But I understand that it is possible to get a liver transplant from a live donor. Now, obviously, you can't live without a liver, so how is that done? Yes, um, uh, that is a procedure that is uh, 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 named the live donor liver transplant. What we do is if take half of the liver of uh, uh, the donor and give it to the recipient. So um, uh, uh, the liver has a special characteristic, something that is unique to the liver. The liver can uh, regenerate. So that uh, a lobe that we give to the recipient in about four weeks will reach the same liver mass of a normal liver. What, what brings people to your office? Many things. Uh, and, uh, number one, uh, um, uh, we have doctors that uh, refer patients historically uh, to our program. And uh, oftentimes, uh, patients present to my office on their own, that they've read on what I do and what I've pioneered in my life and in my career, and they get excited and they want to uh, see me. So what have you pioneered? Well, I pioneered uh, uh, two things. Uh, uh, number one, a technique that allows me to divide the liver uh, without using blood. Uh, I don't transfuse patients when I uh, divide the liver, and I divide the liver for different reasons. Uh, the most common reason is when I have a patient who has a cancer of the liver that can be treated uh, with uh, what we call a liver resection. The other thing that I've pioneered is a liver resection uh, uh, that is called robotic-assisted liver resection. Now, in the early 90s, the uh, Army developed a technology called the Da Vinci robot. Mm. And that is a technology that allows surgeons to operate from distance. So, but uh, nobody was really using this uh, product to perform liver resections. And I thought that that could have uh, uh, easily been applied to liver resections. You told me, um, I loved your answer when I asked you, what is the trait about yourself that you really like? Yes. I never had a bad day, and uh, I love uh, life, and I love what I do, and uh, I think I'm a very fortunate man, uh, because there are not too many people around that uh, really love their job and enjoy uh, uh, doing it every day. You never had a bad day. You're a lucky man. <laughs> it was very nice to have you here. Thank you.